the hardest thing in the world to say. We live in a world where self-justification is everything, where we have to be right, even if we're not. Ash Wednesday is simply a recognition of what we truly are, when all the illusions of this world, when all the false images are stripped away. It's a reminder that we are finite, that we are mortal, that one day we will no longer be here. We will return to the dust of the earth. And so it's a very sobering thing. But it's also, and much more importantly, a joyful thing. For when we receive on our foreheads the cross in ash, we will have spoken to us the words, remember you are dust, to dust you shall, shall return. return. In an age where youth and beauty are everything, we know that those things fade. We know that the pictures and the facades that we put up are but an illusion. But the reality, the reality that abides is, according to our Christian faith, the reality of a love, of a forgiveness, of a grace that is bigger even than our failings and our sins. And so on this holy day, as we gather, we do not do so with any sense of superiority. We in the church are not better than anyone else. We are simply people who are in the process of being healed of our selfishness, of our indifference. And as we receive the sign of the cross, we receive both the diagnosis of what we are, to dust you shall return, and we also receive the cure, the promise. Turn away from sin turn away from all the badness within and without and follow Christ. Follow the Christ who gave himself in love for other people. The Christ who, as he was nailed to the cross, said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now hear the words of the Holy Gospel for Ash Wednesday. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning, he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and making her stand before all of them they said to him sir this woman was caught in the act of adultery now in the now in the law moses commanded us to stone such women what do you jesus now say they said this to test him so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, let anyone among you who is without sin cast the first stone at her. And once again, he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you O Christ. Christ.
And in that beautiful story of Jesus healing people, a woman who is deemed guilty, a woman who is deemed worthless in the eyes of others for her transgression, is healed by Jesus, healed by the recognition that we are all sinners, that we all do wrong. Neither do I condemn you. Go in peace and sin no more. Let us as Christian people heed those words of Jesus to us. Let us be those who strive, resolve to sin no more and to simply communicate that healing, forgiving, gracious love of the Saviour. And so now let us pray in the words of the litany in our sheet. Let us now call to mind our sin and the infinite mercy of God. And we're going to sing this, a very simple chant. So goes, God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, have mercy on us. From all evil and mischief, from pride and vanity and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred and malice, and from all evil intent, good Lord, deliver us. From sloth, worldliness and love of money, from hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver us. From sin of body and mind, from the deceits of the world, the flesh and the devil. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver us. In all times of sorrow, in all times of joy, in the hour of our death and at the day of judgment. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood and obedience, by your baptism, fasting and temptation, Good, Good Lord, Lord deliver us. us! By your ministry in word and work, by your mighty acts of power and by your preaching of the kingdom, Good, Good Lord, Lord deliver us! By your agony and trial, by your cross and passion, and by your precious death and burial. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver us. By your mighty resurrection, by your glorious ascension, and by your sending of the Holy Spirit. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver us. At the intercession of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, at the saints' empty of your saints in glory. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver us. Give us true repentance, forgive us of our sins of negligence and ignorance, and our deliberate sins, and grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver us. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Make our hearts clean, O God, and renew a right, right spirit, spirit within us. Father eternal, eternal give of, of, of light, light and, and grace. grace. We, we have, have sinned against, against you and against our neighbour, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, and, and in the good we have not done, done. Through, through ignorance, through weakness, weakness through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Give us all that is past and lead us out from the darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, I invite you in a moment, each and every one of you, I will ask these two first and then all of you come to me. I will invite you to receive these ashes as a sign of the spirit of penitence, of repentance, in which we shall keep 
this holy season of Lent, as you receive the cross on your forehead, and absolutely anyone and everyone is invited to receive the sign of the cross, please know that they are words of the diagnosis of our condition, but also words of the cure, the promise, the forgiveness, the love that God has for us in Jesus Christ. And so we now pray, God our Father, you create us from the dust of the earth, Grant that these ashes may be for us a sign of our penitence and a symbol of our mortality. For it is by your grace alone that we receive eternal life in Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Amen. Remember you are dust, to dust you shall return. Turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. Remember, you are dust. To dust you shall return. Turn away from sin and be faithful to Christ. Okay? I would invite now all those who wish to receive the sign of God's love to come forward to me. Remember, from dust you came. 